Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn the calculation for pharmacokinetics two compartment model. First, you need to pause the video and try to solve the question, and then you can continue to play the video to listen to my explanation. In this question, you need to use the data on the right hand side to plot a graph on the semi log paper, and then using the information. You can solve all the questions below. This is the graph you should get. The first parameter you can calculate is beta or known as Ke. I'm going to use the value ln 0.5 minus ln 2 divided by the time point 24 minus 6. The answer should be 0 0.077. So this is beta. The second parameter that you can solve is by extrapolating a straight line to the y-axis. You should get B. The value for B over here is 3.1. However, your value can be slightly different from mine, depend on how you place the position of your ruler. The next two parameters we're going to solve will be A and alpha. To solve this we need to plot another straight line you need to read this time point over here corresponding to this four concentration here you need to get the value and you need to do a subtraction i will show you the table in the next slide by reading the concentration on the extrapolated line at a different time point you will get another set of value. Using the original data set, you need to perform a subtraction to get the new value over here. You need to plot another straight line using the time and the value difference. By calculating the gradient, you will be able to find alpha. I will show you the graph in the next slide. The yellow line is the new line you plotted using the new data set. By calculating the gradient of the yellow line, you were able to calculate alpha. So I'm going to use the value ln 0.7 minus ln 4.7 and the time point 4 minus 1. The alpha will be 0.64. The next thing you can solve is by extrapolating this straight line to the y-axis to find the intercept value. The value I, I found is A equal to 9.1. Next part of the question, you are required to calculate the half-life for absorption and half-life for elimination. You need to use ln2 divided by Ka or Ke. For absorption, there will be 0 0.693 divided by 0 0.64. Your answer will be 1.08 hour. For elimination half-life, there will be 0 0.693 divided by 0 0.077. The answer will be 9 hour. To identify the area under the curve, you need to use this equation. It is easy, you just need to plug in the value 9.1 divided by alpha 0 0.64 plus 3.1 divided by 0 0.077. The answer you should get will be 54.5. So this is the area under the curve. The next part, you need to calculate the clearance. You need to use this equation, put in the dose, which is 200, divide by AUC, 54.5. Just let me do a quick calculation, divide by 54.5. The new clearance will be 3.67. The next part of the question, you will need to calculate the intercompartment transfer rate constant K12, K21, and K10. 
you need to remember this three equation. One common question student will ask is what will be the difference between K1O and beta? K1O represents the elimination from the central compartment, whereas beta represents the elimination from the whole body. So let's start by calculating V1. V1 is equal to the dose 200 divided by 9.1 plus 3.1. The volume will be 16.4 liter. To continue, 16.4 is equal to clearance 3.67 divided by K1O. The answer for K1O will be 0 0.224. Next part, I will need to calculate K21. So alpha, beta, multiply K21 and K1O. The alpha will be 0 0.64, multiply 0 0.077 is equal to K21 multiplied by 0 0.224. Solving this, the K21 will be 0 0.22. The last one, we need to calculate K12. Using this equation, alpha plus beta equal to K12 plus K21 plus K10. Put in all the value, alpha plus beta equal to K12 plus 0 0.22 plus 0 0.224. Solving this, your K12 will be 0 0.273. So that's all for the intercompartment transfer rate constant. Next, you need to calculate the volume of distribution at steady state using this equation. By putting in all the value, 209.1 divide 0 0.64 square plus 3.1 divide 0 0.077 squared. The whole thing divide 54.5 squared. I'm putting in my value. You can compare the value you get plus 516.67 divide 2970.25. The answer for the VSS will be 36.28 liter. So that's all for this question. For this question, you need to identify the A, B, alpha and beta from this equation in order to solve the question. Now you can pause the video to attempt the question. First to solve the AUC, you need A, alpha, B and beta. I hope you remember this format. CT is equal to AE power negative alpha T plus BE beta T. If you compare to the information given, there will be 4.8, 0.24T plus 2.2, 0 0.1T. That will be a is 4.8, alpha is 0 0.24, B will be 2.2, and beta will be 0 0.1. Using this value, 4.8 divided by 0 0.24 plus 2.2 divided by 0 0.1, your AUC for this will be 42. The next one, you need to identify the clearance. For the clearance, there will be dose divided by AUC. Given the dose is 200 and the AUC is 42, your clearance will be 4.76 liter per hour. The last part will be calculating the V1. Dose 200, A will be 4.8 plus B 2.2. 200 divided by 7. Your answer for volume 
will be 28.6 liter. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for your attention.